willing to admit it. There are people in this chat room that I sent directly to the FBI, and they met. That is the property of News Nation. You don't have the right to release just whatever you want. So now, if they choose, it's my understanding that they can go after John Paul Miller. Will they? I don't know. Their footage is their property. Just like what you're watching now is not... There's a difference between fair use and just reposting the whole thing. People can take clips from this live stream. That's fair use. But if someone takes this entire live stream and just reposts it, that's different. Kimberly, thank you for your gift. Cynthia, thank you for your gift. Sherry, thank you for your gift. Man, Taylor, you're on top of it. Thank you so much for your gift. So now, John Paul may have accidentally created more legal problems for himself by releasing the audio and whoever is behind True Crime Re will be held responsible if News Nation chooses to go after them. <laughs> so that's why I'm not going into that. I have reached out for clarification. And plus, I'm not going to share nonsense with no video. Listen to me. Because I want you to understand. He was playing the file off a phone. He could have simply hit upload. There's a reason he doesn't want you to visually see it. He doesn't want you to see the footage. He doesn't want you to see him. 